On the southern slopes of Har Hazetim, east of Ir David, the city of David, overlooking Har Habayit and the old city, nine beautiful pioneering families are living in the old Yemenite village of Kfar Hashiloach. Surrounded by some hostile Arab neighbours who haven't yet come to terms with Am Yisrael returning to her land, or with Jews returning to the old Yemenite village, the Jewish families find themselves under daily fire with attacks on the vehicle which takes them in and out of the village, or on the two residential buildings themselves, Bet Yohanatan and Bet Hadvash. Following a dream and believing that the Messiah was imminent, a few Yemenite Jews made the difficult trek from Yemen to Yerushalayim. After a few initial setbacks, a village was thriving above the Shiloh Springs. Torah learning, the sweet sounds of prayer from the synagogues and the happy voices of Yemenite children in the Cheder could be heard throughout the village. At its peak, 144 Yemenite families lived in Kfar Temanim of the Shiloh, but all this came to a sudden halt with the thunderous and murderous pogroms of 1929 and 1936. It was the sad end of Kfar Temanim in the Shiloh. <laughs> Notwithstanding a British written promise that the Jewish refugees from the Yemenite village following the Arab pogroms would be able to return, Jewish life was in fact decimated after two sets of riots in the 20s and 30s, and the Jews were not permitted to return. That was true until the year 5764 2004. The re-establishment of Jewish life in Kfar HaShiloach, the Yemenite village, was instigated and orchestrated by Ateret Kohanim, after years of tireless work and research. In the month of Nisan, 5764, March 2004, Jewish families and yeshiva students returned to the village after a sad and forced break of 66 years. At exactly 1am, the signal was given to move. Tension and excitement levels were at their maximum, especially when news was received that the approach teams and guards had entered both buildings. Everything was running smoothly. We had returned home, and it felt exhilarating to be part of the redemption of Jerusalem. 30 to 40 minutes after our arrival, the local Arabs, primarily from the hostile Rajabi clan, understood what was happening and they were furious. Hatred in their eyes and anger in their hearts quickly turned to fistfights, screaming in a barrage of concrete blocks being thrown at our guards and police and the newly arrived residents of Beit Hadvash. But we were not moving. We were here to stay. All this was reported by the local and overseas press. <laughs> Also on today, a visit to a new Jewish community in the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Silwan, which is reconstructing the Yemenite community from the beginning of the century.
The Yemenites have returned home, reads the sign on the new apartment of Meushar and Aharona Umesi, Jews of Yemenite descent. The Umesis are one of eight families and 13 yeshiva students who've recently moved into two buildings in the East Jerusalem Shiloh village, just south of the Temple Mount. It was a day of great joy and celebration for Am Yisrael. Of that there is no denying. Today, there are eight families living in Bet Yonatan, together with a thriving Kovalel, Ometz Yishecha, under the auspices of Rabbi Shmuel Stern, and a single family, the Tanamis, living down the road in Bet Hadvash. It is hoped, of course, they will be joined by other Jewish families in the near future, and it is the prayer of all families that the sole remaining Yemenite Beit Knesset will be redeemed and returned to its rightful Jewish heirs. However, today, after 10 years since Ateret Konim returned the Jewish life to the area, and thanks to the pure Mesirut Nefesh, devotion and commitment of the families themselves, Kfar Hatemanim is once again alive and well. Mazal Tov to the families, 10 years, Kfar Hatemanim. Yeah, Lord.